Residents of an apartment building in Holyoke that partially collapsed over the weekend are speaking out tonight. Come tomorrow, they will have no place to stay. Western Mass News reporter Sarah Grinelli is outside of that apartment building. She joins us now with the exclusive story. Sarah. Jordan, Chris, you can see behind me this massive fence with yellow caution tape blocking off the area where that part of that roof came crashing down. Now, the families I spoke with tonight are desperate for answers. They say by tomorrow they have no place to go, many of them with young children, and they're frustrated after reaching out to the city and the landlord for what they should do next. Nothing. Nada. Mira. Nobody's doing ¿Qué nothing for us. A group of tenants from a Holyoke apartment building on Essex Street holding back tears. They say come Wednesday, they will have no place to stay. There's about 13 families in here right now, but there's around 19 families that have been displaced. Sunday night, a 30-foot section of their apartment building's roof came crashing down. Fire officials say no one is allowed back inside until the building is fixed. We just hear a really loud noise and the building kind of shook. So I look out the window and I see that a piece of the building had fallen. Naomi Cruz is speaking out for the entire group exclusively to Western Mass News. According to documents, the apartment building is owned by Windsor Realty. She says the representative of the landlord, Lucian Ranowski, has put them up in a hotel until Wednesday morning. We don't have any plans. We don't know where to go. We can't go back to our apartments that we pay rent for because it's not safe. Cruz says she's tried her best to find a place to go, but has nowhere to turn. I called the city of Holyoke. I left them a voicemail because they never answered, but I haven't heard back from them. I I went to the um, the fire department in Holyoke. They gave me a, um, a paper. They gave me a list also of places, I, different places I can go. Wayfinders, Chicopee Housing, West Springfield Housing. I called every single one of these places and they don't have spice for us. So we don't know what's going to happen with us. She says the group is desperate to take action. When it hits 11 o'clock tomorrow, we are all going back to our apartments and I don't know, I, we don't care if the police are going to try to stop us, the fire departments. <laughs> We're going back inside our apartments because we don't have a place to live right now. It's a cry for help. These people don't want to go unheard. You know, we have small children. So we are really frustrated. We're a big family right now. We're all trying to help each other. We all work, we all pay our rent, we have our children. It's not fair that we're living under these circumstances right now. We've reached out to the city of Holyoke and the apartment owner tonight. We have not heard back yet. Live in Holyoke tonight, Sarah Grinelli, Western Mass News.